Welcome to today's video. This is actually quite an interesting video. Now, someone a while ago requested on my food video that I, you know, do once in a while when I, you know, buy a lot of food. Can you show what you eat in a day or something that's similar of what you eat average a day? So I thought, hey, it will be very cool and quite an interesting idea to show you guys what I basically eat in a day. So you know what, without further ado, we're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to get straight into it. So whenever I wake up, that really depends. I sometimes wake up at 5.30 in the morning, naturally. I don't know why. I don't even have my alarm set up at that time. I have my alarm set up at 7.25, 7.50. So when I wake up, the first thing that I eat and take in is my vitamins. Now as a vegetarian, unfortunately, you're going to lose a lot of stuff that you can find in meat, for example, zinc, etc. You need that stuff. And trust me, if it works or not, I don't know. But people have said if you want to go vegetarian or vegan, you have to take these supplements in. They're very important. Uh, I take these every day, almost. Not every day, though. I take these four or five days a week and this is the brand that I use. You can use any brand but uh, I like this one because of the flavor and they've got a, a lot of important stuff in per tablet. I mean I don't even know what these thing, thing is. We've got Iser, Zinc, we've got Mangan. God knows what they mean. So this is what I take in. This is what I take almost every day. This is the big boy. This is about, I guess you could get these for 10, 15 euro. I don't know. It's a lot but you get 180 chewing tablets. Also got another one, which is a green one. I think the green one is more effective, but I could be wrong potentially, you don't know. I wake up, I don't brush first, no, no, no. It depends on if I'm in the mood. Normally when I wake up, right, I have my breakfast around 10 or 11, depending on if I wanna make a video, because sometimes I record at eight o'clock in the morning, I record videos for the day, because well, my neighbors love to and intend to go outside at nine o'clock in the morning, have a smoke and talk, uh, which I have nothing against. Obviously, it's allowed. I don't mind, but it's like, damn, I have to make my videos really, really early because they will be outside the whole afternoon and I can't record. Um, so, I wake up and I get a drink. You know, I'm very, very thirsty. Slept all night, you know, this and that. I do sometimes wake up in the morning or at night time at 2, 3 in the morning. I'm like, damn, I want a drink. I want a bit of water. Now, as you have may known lately, I have been drinking absolutely nothing except 7-Up. Now, you might be wondering, what is all this thing about you being more conscious about your health, this and that? Honestly, it started about uh, actually seven, eight months ago when I said in a video I would stop slash reduce the consuming of sugared drinks. Well, let me just be honest. Seven months later, we were still doing it. And the first sugar drink, natural sugar drink, there's a difference with added sugar and natural sugar drinks, is the first one I had three weeks ago. And that's the first like in weeks that I had anything sugar drink. But you need sugar though, because your brain works on sugar as well. So you need to sometimes also take in sugar. I'm not trying to sound like a health person, but you know. 7-Up, I choose this one because it has no sugar. It's very refreshing. It's very, very low in calories. It's like 3 calories per 250. So there's a couple of calories in this thing. There's no fat. There's no sugar. There's no protein. There's little to no salt. And it tastes the same. For me personally, I find this tasting way better than the sugar one. Most drinks that have sugar for me are too sweet or too sour especially with like mango juices when they add sugar to it it's like jesus they don't need that fucking sugar it's got sugar containing naturally itself why do you need to add sugar to something that already has sugar very odd and that's the thing you know when i pick up a product i'm like okay how many calories is the fat in there how many sugars are this in it if i'm like mm, 15 grams of sugar per per bottle nah put it back i don't care i don't buy it for example, yesterday I did some shopping. I looked at, oh, this looks pretty interesting. What does it have? 12 grams of sugar per cup. Oof, not even natural, added sugar. So, you know, we do that. And I either drink water, really very, very refreshing, good for the blood streaming, good for the blood flow, very, very healthy. This is the only brand, like I said before, that I like to drink. I've tried other brands. I find their water the best. It might be a mental thing you know some people might argue but water is just water i have to personally disagree on that honestly water is definitely a big difference in i mean the cheaper ones definitely taste different than the more pricey ones but yeah water one of those things that is very very nice very refreshing and if i don't have water or i don't have seven up i just get my tap water and i like to add lemon plus also very good for the body apparently i've read upon i've been way more self-conscious lately for you guys and the reason why i just want to be more healthy man I was fucking eating myself, not to death, but you know, I was eating myself without exercising. And I've, you know, every day, unless I'm at my parents, you know, two, three, four days a week, three days a week, it's like, I, you know, I, I give myself a little bit of a cheat day, you know, then I look at the amount of calories. Okay, the average calorie intake is 2,000 per day for a man. 
And uh, for example, yesterday I think I ate 1200 calories a day, divided in hours. Obviously, I don't eat it all, but um, yeah, like lemon, it's great, tastes great with any type of food. And it's got carbohydrates, which is nice, uh, sugar, which is natural sugars, don't worry about that. It's got a little bit of protein, not really, but yeah, that's really it. So the next thing is what I normally like to eat in a day. I don't eat vegetables or fruits every day. I know this is a fruit, but you know, some people say, oh, you've got to have vegetables and fruit every single day. Don't really think it's very necessary, but um, make sure if you eat, you eat variety. You want variety in your food, you know. The same thing, if you like to eat meat, it ain't healthy eating meat every single day two three times without vegetables you need variety in your diet or food in general because by just eating meat you're gonna gain a lot of fucking weight you have to diversify your food you know it's gonna also get very boring if you eat meat every day that's essentially what i had before i went vegetarian i was eating meat every single day and sometimes you're like you know what this shit is kind of boring let's try something else out the last thing the thing i will admit you know since being a vegetarian um i eat a lot of pre-made uh food it's all pre-made, it's all this and that, so there's not really anything interesting news vegetarian-wise, so I will give props to the, to like, meat, with meat you can experiment, this and this and that, you know, you can, piece of steak, fucking hell, you can do what you want, you can make a honey barbecue steak, you can make a prime rib steak, a tomahawk steak, that's the one thing that sucks about being a vegetarian, you can't eat those delicious things anymore, but yeah, it's what it is. Anyways, uh, what I also like to eat in the day sometimes is mozzarella. Now, I like to have a low-carb, low-calorie uh, wrap. And sometimes, you know, I put some mozzarella on top of there with a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of sauce and low-sugar sauce. I don't want no high-sugar sauce. Because that's essentially the thing. A lot of people don't seem to realize, or, or, you know, when they go to the store, they just fucking grab whatever they think on the shelf. You know, it's colorful. Oh, fucking, I gotta get it. For example, why do you think this is not really a colorful bottle? Be honest. It's the most basic fucking bottle that there is, right? You got a green cap, a bit of a print, and that's it. They want you to buy the sugared one. Duh. That's the whole purpose. Why do you think stuff like this is so colorful? They want you to buy it. And that's the same with, like, food. The boxes. Unhealthy stuff or are colorful. Literally 9 out of 10 times the stuff you buy is colorful. And if it's colorful, it often means it's not natural or it's not healthy. Well, anyways, what I also love to eat is vegetables. Huge fan of pepper bells. I've lately been eating these like a motherfucker. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I've been loving these. I love to have this as a snack at lunchtime, for example, around 2-3 o'clock. If I don't have a rep before I exercise and head out for 20-25 minutes for my exercise 2-3 two, three, two, three times a day. Um, in the morning, I go swimming. Afternoon, I go football. And at night time, I go football. And I swim normally. And, you know, just, you know, it's cool. Uh, today's a chill day. Can't be asked today. It's weekend. I was going to chill today. Just came back from my parents as well. So, you know, um, I have pepper bells. You know, that's diversity. I actually like, nah, I like the red ones the most. These are great. Super duper healthy. They're very refreshing. You know, when you eat these and consume these, you get water inside and you also get, you know, nice food. This is colorful but natural. Honestly, I don't know if it's unhealthy consuming this whole thing in one go. I haven't ever tried it, but definitely favorite things. Now, this is the real thing. Um, yeah, I eat vegetarian food. And you know, 99% of it is pre-made. Can't very much do very much about it. But um, I also like to eat pasta. I like to eat noodles once in a while. Noodles are one of the most safest things, really. They're not, they're not really unhealthy unless you like eat them every single day. But they're nice as a snack, you know. Regardless of if you're rich or poor, it's shit, it's, it tastes good, you know. Another thing, this video won't be very long, is sausages. These are veggie sausages. I think these are very, very nice. Um, you know, like I said, I've been bulking lately, which means that you know. I sometimes for breakfast look at okay 600 calories fuck it we'll eat them and then we lose the exercise because look here's the thing right if you just keep on eating and don't exercise some people have the fortunate luck they don't gain weight for example three and a, two and a half years ago right before I went vegetarian I was at school high school I had a, I went to the gym with my school three times a week and I had football so about four times a week I was exercising like for an hour right with that saying as well that was the whole thing. I was eating, but I was also exercising. So I didn't gain weight since I graduated from school and stopped playing football. The thing that I was noticing was like, fuck, I gained a lot of weight. And I was wondering, like, how have I gained so much weight? Just eating and not exercising, being in bed all day, doing really nothing. And that's where a lot of people come to the conclusion like, oh, I really have to consider losing some weight. Eat less, make your portion smaller, less calories, sugar, fat. 
and obviously all these things I'm naming is also important to have you shouldn't be like ultra skinny because if it's winter time you need fat for health reasons you know it's a very normal thing fat reserves it's called um, but really when I go ever to the store it's like okay what do I need not what do I want because fuck it I could buy the whole store if I want to but it's essentially about what do I want to eat and like to eat for example I love to sometimes have these veggie things right on bread and have some lettuce on the plate or have an apple sliced up in pieces or have a smoothie once in a while I make a smoothie for myself once in a while as well I really enjoy it although I'm struggling to make like an, a, a chai ball I'm fucking retarded I don't know how to make smoothie balls if someone could teach me that I really do but yeah all of the things is what I eat basically in a day I don't eat this every single day but like 7 up drink it almost every day what I almost drink every day before after my workout before during my workout I like to have 7 up just because it gives you that nice boost and uh, yeah that's kind of about it like I said the reason why, why you know the reason why I've been self conscious lately is because I've lost weight I've lost 3, three kilos already I don't know how much it is in stones or pounds but I've lost weight you can't see it yet you can't see it here obviously because you have to do like 10 15 kilo to really look but I'm just trying to live and be more healthy be more conscious and that's the thing you know about healthy food you know when I went to America for example right the healthy food was expensive and you know the junk food was not expensive and that's unfortunately the harsh truth of the industry junk food will always be very very cheap and you know healthy stuff optional wise will always be more cost price which yeah, it sucks, but hey, it's what it is. Um, so yeah, the person who requested me to show and basically tell you what I eat in a day, thank you very much. That was a very cool idea. Actually, I liked it a lot. So without further ado, I don't really think I've got much else to add to the video. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, man. Hey, and peace out. And remember, when you buy food, look at the calories and look if, if it's healthy. If you're like, ooh, it ain't healthy, then simply just don't buy it. And when I buy food as well, I also look at the price, by the way. I don't just grab. I always look at the price like, okay, can I get this somewhere cheaper? And then I get it somewhat cheaper. So peace out, man.